You lie, partner. All right. Well, my name's Ron O'Neill. Um, got up this morning to a beautiful morning. It was frosty, no wind. Um, I actually am hunting in Lenawee County and um, hunting in my father's spot. Um, we used to hunt here together years back and he passed away a few years ago and you know I got to believe that he was looking over me when we did uh, when his deer came in. Um, had a doe come in first thing this morning 7:30. three does come in. Um, told myself I wasn't gonna shoot a doe but she was big and I and I bought a new crossbow and I'm just you know was itching to shoot it and and shot her reloaded in the stand in the middle of texting my brother telling him that I shot a doe and I looked to my right and here he came in the front of a there was a four point following behind him and I've always heard you know the small bucks are always in front of the big bucks but he was in front and he came down my 25 yard trail uh, put it on him and and hit him you know I guess kind of right where I thought I hit him couldn't you know, found the doe, you know, long story short, we found, I found the doe and blood everywhere and did not find any blood at all from this guy. I called my buddy Mike Green. He, uh, he gave me Rob's phone number. I called him up this morning and uh, after a couple tracks he had this uh, today, he came out, we met out at four o'clock and had a tough time getting on him, but I would say maybe total what 40 minutes, 40 minutes I would say. And, I agree. And Cypress uh, got right on him. It was, um, you know, a beautiful thing. I, I'm thoroughly blessed, and I gotta thank Rob and thank Cypress. Cypress is uh, one of a kind. I'll tell you, I, I I couldn't believe it. I actually read an article uh, online about you guys. I, I I can't remember where I read it, but I, I, when I'm trying, was it M Live or one of them, one of my hunting sites that I look at, and um, I, I couldn't be happier. I, it's just a, just a wonderful end to a beautiful morning and a, you know, great day. Let's add uh, about the buck ran the same path as your doe. Yeah. So the dog had to retrack over top of where your doe went. Yeah. And uh, we struggled from that spot. Um, we did try to start Cypress beyond where the doe died just to try to not get a confusion. But she just would not lock on. So I told Ron, I got to go back to the shot site. And, uh, you know, we just got to try it that way. We did that. Cypress uh, went to where the doe died. Then she went all the way back up to the top of the hill where Ron last saw the buck. Then she took a different route. Um, and that route, she really worked it hard. And um, I can tell you, she searched for a while. And then she slowly started venturing down to the swamp, and uh, there was a mowed path, and Ron's like, you know, that's where they like to go. She checked a couple runs, um, didn't really hit on nothing, and then all of a sudden we hit this one run, and it was like lights on, man. She just took off with that rope tugging, uh, maybe 30 yards into the swamp, we're onto this friggin' monster. Um, I hollered for Ron like a little schoolgirl at Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> we man-hugged, damn near kissed. Uh, these are moments that... You got to be here to see it and, and, and believe in a dog and, and believe in your shot. Uh, and Ron did everything exactly right. He, he, he backed out. He didn't bust up the area by walking it all up, contaminated it, making it tough for a dog. Um, he believed in a shot. He believed in the work of a dog. And this is the outcome of, uh, of doing things correctly. And in the, in the end, it's about finding these bucks. It's about finding the does. It's just about making a recovery. Um, you know, Ron may have found this by walking the swamp. We, we can't deny that. But the fact is, we got him now. And that's all that matters. Ron, congrats, bud. God bless you. Thank you.